Hello everyone. In the present demo, I'm going to explain what is a node manager. How do we configure a node manager in a WebLogic server? How do we start a node manager? And how do we use this node manager to administer manager servers? So let us assume that I have a domain ASKM underscore domain. This is my domain, and I also have uh, three manager servers. So I'm going to administer these three uh, manager servers. So these three are the manager servers I have, and I also assume uh, that there are two machines already created in this domain. So these machines are machine zero one, machine zero two. Now uh, in this demo, I'm going to create two node managers for each machine, and using these node managers, I'm going to uh, manage the uh, admin uh, manager servers so what is a node manager a node manager is a separate utility or a separate process which runs on the machines uh, which are hosting weblogic we can use node manager to remotely start up weblogic servers so a node manager is not exactly associated with any domain but it can start servers and server instances that it resides on the same machine where node manager is running it is required if we want to use the console the administration console to start servers and is also required for doing whole server migration or automatic server migration as we will see uh, in the later lessons in the later articles there are two versions in uh, node manager a java based version and a script based version of the node manager and uh, i'm going to explain node uh, node manager using a small diagram so this is a diagram so here is a diagram that uh, uh, is a node uh, is a kind of uh, uh, it is a diagram that uh, kind of shows how node manager fits into the overall architecture of the weblogic server configuration here uh, we can have three different machines machine a machine b and machine three c notice that each machine has an instance of node manager running on it node managers are very lightweight process it can run on those machines then if you want to start up the administration server we can use a tool such as a uh, weblogic server uh, tool to send in a uh, is to send in a communication in the node manager to start up the administration server then uh, if you would like to use the administration server to start up the other servers we can send the communication from the administration console to the uh, administration server and the administration server can contact the node manager on the machines where this target manager servers are running and having node manager actually start up those machines though a collaboration of node manager and the operating system on those machines as i said uh this node manager must run on each computer that hosts weblogic server instances whether administration server or manager server that you want to control with the node manager with that now we know what is a uh, uh, a node manager so let me uh, show you how do we uh, create a node manager for each machine so here i have uh, two machines uh, machine 0 1 and machine 0 2 so i'm going to uh, create two node managers for each machine so first i am taking uh, machine 1 so i'm going to get lock on it now my configuration i got lock for the configuration now i am clicking on node manager So I'm keeping lo local host as a listen address and listen port is uh, 3556. I'm keeping it same. Now I'm going to save this configuration. Now settings updated successfully. Now in a similar way I'm going to create node manager for machine 2. Click on node manager. 
so here I'm changing it to triple five seven so node manager 2 is uh, listening on port triple five seven so let me save it saved successfully now I'm uh, clicking here so it does not require any restart of the logic server domain now I am activating the changes so all changes are saved now, uh, now I created uh, two node managers for these uh, two machines now I am going to use weblogic server tool uh, to configure node manager so let me go into the node so this is the node so here uh, I'll execute some command uh, which uh, gives me weblogic server tool prompt there I connect to a weblogic server and I'll uh, configure the node manager so let me go into the directory so this is the weblogic server home directory I'm going to the common directory and in the common I'll find a bin directory so here I'll find the script uh, the script name is wlst.sh so I'm running the script it is initializing web logic server tool now now see uh, I got the web logic server tool uh, prompt so this is a prompt using this tool I can now configure the uh, node manager so now I need to connect to the admin server uh, from the weblogic server tool to connect I need to execute connect so now it is trying to connect to the admin server now it is connected So this is a command I am uh, using to configure the node manager so I am passing two parameters to this function the first parameter is um, domain path uh, uh, and the next parameter is the uh, node manager home directory now I am executing this command she successfully enrolled this machine with the domain directory now after successfully enrolling uh, I need to add this class path to each manager server and uh, try to start the manager server so let me go to the home page so here my manager server sir here so I'm just adding the class path to each manager server so in the configuration tab uh, click on the start server so here you need to add the class path to each manager server so i'm getting the lock on it now i added it now i'm saving So settings updated successfully now after adding the class path I need to start the manager server so right now uh, the status of this uh, manager server is it is uh, not running now let me go to the terminal so I'll use another terminal so let me go to the my domain home directory so it is under user projects so uh, here I'll find uh, one script start uh, managed web logic so I'm going to use that script 
to start my uh, manager server so if i use uh, this one it gives me a syntax so this is a syntax i need to use to start uh, uh, manager server so using the same syntax ASKM underscore ms1 is my manager server name so i'm using http localhost dot local domain 2001 now my manager server has been uh, started and it is now in running mode so let me verify the status from the uh, console uh, so I'll refresh it now the present status is shut down let me see after refreshing which should show that it is running yes so my manager server one is now running so now i should repeat the same steps to other two manager servers manager server 2 and manager server 3 so that these two servers should also be uh, started now let me take the class path again Now I'm using the same syntax. Now I'm trying to start uh, uh, manager server two.
now it is running so i'm now able to uh, start and stop all the manager servers so let me save all the changes now i'm shutting down manage server 3 Full shutdown now. No. Now I'm going to show you how to start a node manager. So let me uh, open up a new console. So here is the script. Now the final message shows you that the node manager is started on triple five six. So let me start the uh, other node manager. So as you know, we have already created two node managers for each mission. So I'm um, in this mission. Start node manager. It is one twenty seven zero zero one, and the port is triple five seven. So this node manager is also started on triple five seven. So the final step is uh, to start any of these manager servers. So let me start any of these manager servers. Let me take MS one control. And here I can use start now it says that a request has been sent to a node manager to start the selected server now let's see whether the manager server is started or not so it still says that it is still starting let me wait for some more so now the status shows that it is running so whenever we are starting the manager server it is actually sending a message to a node manager and the node manager is in turn uh, starting the manager server so you can start the other manager server in a similar way so this ends the session thank you for watching this demo please leave me comments and your suggestions thank you so much